Hey everybody and welcome back. It is Saturday. I'm getting ready to do a couple citywide yard sales and bring you along with me. I finally got this car cleaned out in case we get anything big or in case we get a lot of little stuff. So we'll see what happens. I'm a little nervous. I've never brought my GoPro to a yard sale before. But, uh, let's get started. I gotta go to 7-Eleven and get some coffee and also get some money out of the bank because I didn't get any out yesterday. So let's go. Okay. We are back from yard sailing and I have a confession to make. Um, I was a little too chicken to bring my GoPro with me. I had it with me and one, the sales were far and few between and the ones that I did go to had nobody at. So I thought if more people were there, it would be less conspicuous with me having a GoPro um, for more people to look at as opposed to just me where they can look me up and down. Um, and then also, none of the footage was really that great like that I had so we're gonna go right from me in the car to my haul of what I got um I don't know if I'll be trying yard sale hauls in the future um maybe more just thrifting videos <laughs> um but we'll see well let me show you what I got because I think I got one or two really good deals and then like a few like mm, bread and butter type 10 to $15 items, but one thing I'm really excited about, and I'm gonna show that to you last. Okay, so this here is a Lion King plush. I got it for 50 cents. I think I should get about 10 to, tw uh, about 15 to 20 for him. And then I went to, there's a animal shelter in our area that does a uh, yard sale when there is a citywide. And you pick up as much stuff as you want and then you just give a donation so I'll show you what I got and then I will show you what I paid or tell you what I paid I got I think it's an Ewok I'm not really good at Star Wars but it is um, genuine original Disney authentic store so this should be fairly new I didn't see any tears or anything on him I also got this cat it is a uh, Dakin, which Dakin always does well for me um, when I get it in the plush boxes. No rips or tears. I got a pot belly bear, which I think should also bring about uh, 15 to 20, possibly 30. Um, it's from Fancy Zoo. But he's got his little tag. Again, no rips, no tears. Everyone seems to donate really good stuff to this animal shelter because, like I said, it does go to the animal shelter. Um, this cat, which is a applause. Again, no rips or tears. And then, hold on, where did that one go? Okay. Also, this little bird. New with tags. It's uh, Audubon Birds with Real Bird Calls. It's a wood thrush um, from Wild Republic. They had this one, which does make its noise. And then also a mallard. Right? Is that what they have it as too? A mallard? Yeah. This one is a mallard. The only two I saw. So this is still from that same sale. I got a um, planet box. So this is a lunch box. Now when I used to bring my lunches to work in bento boxes, I always wanted one of these, which is actually why I picked it up. It, it's got all its pieces in there. It's got its little dipper cup and the big dipper cup. Um, but I don't really do too many bento boxes anymore, so I still wanted it anyway, but hey, there's me. Hello. <laughs> um, I did look it up on eBay. I should get about $30 for this. It is stainless steel. And then also, lastly, I got there was the My Gnome on the Rome Family Adventure Kit. Um, a suitcase of memories waiting to be unpacked. It's in this cute little tote. Hello. <laughs> And it looks like it's never been used. It's got all its little shredding material. The only thing I can see is it does come like with this wooden pen. And someone did color on the little gnome's eyes. 
So I wonder if I can get that off with like a little bit of like um, magic eraser. But this all is like new. It's got its little twine. So I didn't even look. Um, I didn't look any. <clears throat> I didn't look any comps up on anything. Um, except this here, and I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, I pretty much kept my phone in the car every sale that I went into. Um, which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But this is my little pile here. So this is everything I got from that animal shelter sale. I paid $20. There was another stuffed bunny that I got along with this. However, um, when I went to go and pack him out of the car, basically his arm fell off. I didn't realize that it was so... Um, like shredded so <laughs> I ended up tossing that one it happens um that was just me trying to be quick because there were so many people the sale was so big it had like 15 10 by 10 tens plus a warehouse I might go back today actually um later on this afternoon but I got all this for twenty dollars I think I did pretty good oh no not this lion sorry that came from a fifth from a different yard sale for 50 cents and I just realized his eyes kind of scratchy nope Okay, and then all the shoes in here in this bag came from the first set. Hey, look, there's my snack. <laughs> Always bring snacks with you when you're yard sailing so you don't have to stop and eat. Um, all the shoes in here came from the first sale that I stopped at. All their shoes were a dollar, and then she threw in this pair for free. So I got six pairs of shoes for five dollars. And these are a Nike script. TR2 and so almost all her shoes are new I guess she had foot surgery and she was trying to find shoes that were comfortable for her and then she also didn't want to return shoes so she would just buy them and then toss them aside um, these are some Nike fresh foam no that's not Nike is that New Balance yeah I didn't mean Nike <laughs> these are New Balance fresh foam I think they have another name too but still really clean and this is what made me start looking at the shoes in the first place there was this pair of Merrells um, they are a little worn here in the leather band and then also right here where the logo is but besides that um, they're in fairly good condition on the bottom so I saw these and I asked her how much for the shoes and she said a dollar pair so I said okay so then I started looking at all her shoes um, got those I got, oh, there's my card. I got, where's the other one of this? Oh, here it is. I didn't know Crocs made loafers, for one. I thought they only made those plastic shoes. But these are Crocs. They're loafers, or what I consider to be a loafer. And they're like freaking brand new. So I don't know what I'm going to get for any of these shoes. Um, I just kind of went off my gut instinct as I usually do so these are another set of those Crocs these ones have a little more wear on the bottom and then lastly is this pair of Toms they're a 6M and I'm an 8.5 but like everything else they're pretty much uh, excellent used condition that just needs to be cleaned up a little bit so yeah six pairs of shoes for five dollars Another sale I went to, I saw these vintage bingo cards from Lucky. Paid 50 cents on those. I thought those were pretty neat. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if they're worth anything, but I thought they were neat. So we'll find out. And then at another sale, I found these set of like wooden tiki faces. Um, I think they're tiki faces. But each one has like their like meaning behind the mask I paid three dollars for the set I don't know if it's worth anything it might not be but I thought it was cool so you know maybe we'll at least get like 10 bucks for it and then this is the same sale this lady had um Disney Lennox thimble figurines she wanted 300 she had 34 of them she's gonna throw in the stands and when I went back to the car to check cops, because I almost did it, I almost said, mm, okay, $8 a piece, or eight, you know, eight some piece. I almost did it. And 
then I decided, I decided not to. I was going to go back and ask her if she'd take 200 but some of the thimbles aren't really worth that much. So, I don't know. I don't know. I could go back today. I, I bookmarked their, their street so that way I'd remember to go back if I changed my mind after doing more research. But, oh, look at this. This bag's already done. I can get this right to my photographer scene. Okay. Moving on. Now, I don't, I'm going to throw these up really quickly. Um, this is actually a combination of two sales. These three came from um, one yard sale, and then the rest I got 12 or 13 from another yard sale. And then also, I'll show you these real quick. Surprisingly, I only picked up one salt and pepper shaker, and can you believe it's missing its freaking stopper? But it's this cute little cat. Hello. It's this cute little cat. It's this one and this one. I picked them up. I thought they were cute. I paid $2 for those. And then, so these, now McDonald's and collectible glasses won't always net you a lot of money, but there's something so nostalgic about them for me that I, I just like to pick them up. And I was lucky that they had this box. So I'll show you the ones I got from that one sale. This is a uh, Daffy Duck. And it is 1973 from Pepsi. So that one and then the same one here. And then also a Speedy Gonzales. And that is 1973 Pepsi collection. And then the rest of them are a mixture of McDonald's, Arby's, and somewhere else. <clears throat> but I'll show you real quick. Okay. So this is E.T. Pizza Hut. Uh, I don't see a year on it right now. Oh, here it is. 1982. This one is Captain Crook. I like that little fish. And it's from McDonaldland, 1977. This one I wasn't, I didn't know much about. Miranda and Andy Panda. And it looks like it comes from the same cre creator of the Woody Woodpecker. Um, Cause that's Walton Lance, I believe. L-A-N or Lanty. I've sold other stuff by that same creator. And right now his last name is eluding me. Okay, so this is the Hamburglar. Peanut. The Great Muppet, uh, is it Kapir? Caper? Kermit the Frog and Fonzie Bear, the Great Gonzo. More peanuts. Those ones I already showed you. Uh, Ronald McDonald and I always forget what those things are called. Fry Monsters? Uh, filet of Fish Lake. <laughs> That is Big Mac. Mayor McCheese. Oh, Gargamel and Ezreal. There's a Smurf on the other side. Another Peanut. Uh, the Wizard of ID. Now, I remember this comic strip, too. This one, they threw in Brent Ashton from Pepsi. Total, I don't know. I mean, obviously he's a hockey player or was a hockey player. I don't know much about him. And then lastly, another um, Wizard of ID, which is Sir Rodney. So I picked all those up. Dollar piece for everything in there, except for the ones that they threw in, which is the E.T. was thrown in. The E.T. was thrown in. There was, there was three that were thrown in. 
Oh, E.T., Captain Crook, and then Brent Ashton. Those three were thrown in because I cleared their table except those three. <laughs> um, but there's that. So hopefully you can go ahead and skip through that if you're uninterested in collectible cla glasses because they're as collectible as plates. You have to have the right buyer at the right time. I'm going to lot these up with the McDonald ones and the Peanuts ones. There are a couple lots in mind for those. Scooting over. Got this. I believe it's a Coleman. Uh... Yeah, okay. Got this Coleman roundabout. It's not. Yeah. Coleman roundabout. The dispenser does work. And I picked it up for a buck. The bag here is from an estate sale. I walked up thinking it was a yard sale, and they said, oh, more stuff inside. And the stuff inside, they hadn't even got priced yet. The lady told me to fill a bag. She'd make me a price. This house stunk so bad. This lady obviously had, or this person had, like, 40 cats. Hello. You're not in the video. No? <laughs> um, I did do a sniff test on this bear. The only reason I picked up a bear from a stinky house is it is Build-A-Bear, and it's limited edition for St. Patrick's Day. Here's its little Build-A-Bear tag. And it is new with tags, but it does have a name written on here. But it, it's new. Shimmer Shamrock Bear. That... Oh, so that was the only thing I think I got to resell at that sale. I picked up, they had $5 on this rug, but then they gave me $5 for the bag. I've been wanting one of these uh, rugs for my laundry room, and they keep being sold out at Walmart. <laughs> so I picked that up for me. And then also, I'm always looking for uh, cute uh, planter pots. So I picked up this little planter. And then also this candle, which I'm going to turn into a planter. So the only thing I picked up there to resell then is that there. But, we'll move that aside. Oh, that same sale where I picked up the Daffy Duck glasses is where I picked up these rock ports. I picked them up for $2. I think the man said he tried them on, he walked outside, and didn't like them. <laughs> so, yeah, they're pretty good. We'll see once I look them over a little more. You know, the bottoms look good, but we'll have to look over everything else, obviously. Uh, I'm trying to do it by sales. I remember what I paid. So I don't know if you're going to want to see all of these. There was a lot. There wasn't too many sales. And the sales that I had, people were just throwing stuff like in with everything. So like I paid $2 for this bag and this bag. So I don't think I'm going to make big money on these. I haven't even looked up comps yet because I actually forgot that I got them. Um, I do think they're vintage even though it has a Meyer tag. I'll we'll have to do more looking to that. These are um like light caps <laughs> so like christmas lights or halloween lights they go on top of like here's a better like here's some that are out they like go on top of the lights so that way the light shines through them. like for if you've ever seen them on campers or awnings or that's what they are so i've got these witch hats these witch hats these pumpkins so that's yeah these pumpkins, these pumpkins even come with lights. So these three are new old stock. These ones minus this one, which is, uh, see, mini luminary light covers. See, that's how they work, because I can't explain things very well. Um, but they go right over the light, and these are little trick-or-treat bags. And then also, I'll show you these really quickly. Take it out of this bag. So, ghost. Snowman. More pumpkins. She had them all priced at a dollar a bag. And all I did was look in the box. She goes, I'll give you the whole box for $2. And like, the reseller in me is like, uh, I don't know. But the bargain hunter in me is like, do it, do it, do it. These are acorn pumpkins. She had lots of ghosts. And then, oh, that bag was open. These are a little snowman. <clears throat> okay, and then also she threw in the Halloween lights for free. Even if I only make a couple bucks on each bag, I feel like that's pretty good because I only paid two dollars for these. Uh, I paid two dollars for both bags. So hopefully, maybe I'll be wrong and these will be worth a lot of money because they're. Oh. <laughs> All right, this. 
this you see here is one sale too. Stuffed animals for the large ones were a dollar. So, and all the stuffed animals were really clean. So I got a Minnie Mouse and a Mickey Mouse, and I planned to lot these up together. I'm hoping to get about $50 for the pair. We'll see what happens. I got this one. I love foxes, and I don't know if I'm gonna keep him. He's clearly like, like a door sitter, like a door stopper, because all his weight's in his butt. He's meant to like hold the door, I think. But uh, it's it's really cute. And so I paid a dollar for it. I might keep it, I might sell it. I don't see a brand, there's a, giant tag on here for one um but it doesn't say where it's from so maybe we'll try to google lens and see if it's worth anything if not i'm keeping it pick these up uh i paid a dollar a piece i probably overpaid for these these are the eight millimeter but they were new sealed um i think i can get about 15 for these so three to 15 three into 15 i don't feel like is that bad of a deal but obviously we'll check comps first and then lastly from that sale i did pay up for this i saw this on the table i know it's upside down i'm sorry i saw this on the table she wanted 10 and i wasn't about to pay 10 for for a used monopoly game so i bought my plush i went back to the car i decided to look it up because i've never seen an Onyx Edition Monopoly. Now the box does have like some scuffing obviously because it's out of its protective plastic. So I went back to the car and I checked the comps just real quick and it looks like this game is selling anywhere from like $50 to like $85 in this condition. So I went back and I bought it. I paid the 10 bucks. Um, I haven't really learned the art of negotiating yet. Like I haven't did it enough to feel comfortable doing it. So, so this is actually, I, she said they opened it and played it once and then never used it again. Um, it still has like it's hard plastic shell coating, coating, cover. Um, so everything's kind of strewn around. So I am going to, you know, fix that up before I send that over to Sam to photograph, but I'm hoping to get, I'm sure I won't get the top 85 for it, but I'm hoping to get right around $60 for it if possible. But the thing is, heavy AF so obviously priority shipping oh if you're watching this you probably already know but if you are going to yard sales if you're a reseller or not and you're going to yard sales have Ikea bags in your car because let me tell you putting everything in an Ikea bag when you get home you just lift the bags out bam done like everything's already in the bag all set to go and it's easier to carry because you know some yard sales don't give me bags okay now lastly i want to talk about that deal this deal this deal which i wasn't sure about the lady was basically almost giving stuff away had everything like five for a dollar except for these um it does say make offer i made her offer of 20 so 10 a box she countered at 25 and i took it now, I have seen these sell before, which is why I decided to take the chance. But when I got back to the car, <laughs> I did just a little bit of research. These are vintage piano rolls for sheet music. I think I have that right. <laughs> so what does it say? Connerized New York. Some of these are from what looks like New York, obviously. Some of them, I think I've seen one from Italy, but this is uh, Italian style music roll. So I think I have about 40 or 50 of them here between the two boxes. I saw a set in comps go, I think it was a set of 10 for $80. Some are going a little less, obviously. Some are going a little bit more. This is one of the things where the price is all over, but it seems like the ones that have the actual boxes are going for uh, a little more. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I I got to figure out if I'm going to lot these up or like, or if I'm going to single them out. But this was, I think, I think this was my best deal so far this weekend. I think this one is. This one is that Onyx uh, Monopoly. 
All right, everybody, so what do you think? Do you think I got some good deals or did I waste my money? Um, coming up, I have some more unboxings for you. Um, I did a bulk order, Amazon mystery return boxes. I can't snag these Goodwill blue boxes anymore, even though I know this is an unboxing, but I'm telling you what's coming. But this is what I got. I paid $79, I think is what I added up, $79 for everything here, um, <clears throat> including the two things for myself. I think that's it. I'm tired. I got a nice sunburn across my face. <sighs> I'm exhausted. And comment down below, like I said, what do you think was the best deal or what was the worst deal or both? All right. I'll see you next time. Bye.